Hi there you comic reader so today we will be doing a review of this book that is Dune by Frank Herbert the novel I know it has been a long time since I did a comic review but this will be worth your time now Dune by Frank Herbert is one of the most well known science fiction novels ever and it is considered as the benchmark novel for soft science fiction which is the science fiction which is not at all probable like you know the intergalactic empire and this is also those who know the you know star wars trivia this is also the book from which star wars heavily derives its plot from so without further ado uh, let's move into the review of this awesome science fiction novel and uh, I have read many science fiction novels and this by far has been my favorite since I am normally a fantasy fan and this incorporates science fiction elements with fantasy elements and maybe that's why I like this book so much and let's move in the review now the edition I own is the SF Masterworks edition published by Golangs and this is not the best edition of Dune there it is and this has its own specific cover art and that's all I'm going to tell you about this edition don't worry and there are many more editions uh, there is the Penguin Galaxy edition there is a Barnes and Nobles Collectors Edition and then there is the best of all the Folio Society Illustrated Edition of Dune which is so lavish uh, I couldn't purchase it I bought this before knowing about that edition and now this uh, as this has become one of my favorite novels I, I can't upgrade to it because I am not in the habit of you know trading the books and upgrading but uh, this is a good, good edition of it and this story consists of Paul Atreides of the Atreides family uh, born to Leto Atreides and his uh, concubine which is not you know concubine in this universe it means that they are not officially married yet but you know as a concert they are living together and the Paul Atreides is uh, the son of both Leto and Jessica and they move into this planet known as Arrakis or Dune uh, because it's most of it is a desert and it is a area for uh, the mining of the most valuable you know geriatric spice that is the melange spice and it is uh, very much valuable for the entire empire there is an intergalactic emperor and there is a padishah emperor uh, that's the name uh, most of the some of the, the names in this book are derived from you know islamic and arabic names there is a lot of touch of that and one thing that surprised me about this book is that this was written in like 1965 but how progressive is this book it feels like it was written like just yesterday or something because the ideas are so progressive the action is so fast the pl plot and pacing and everything is so modern that this is a book that has aged very well in fact now returning to the plot outline the, the Padisha emperor who I told you about the emperor of the galactic emperor has ordered this Leto to take charge of this dune planet from you know Baron, Baron Harkonnen family and like you know this is like the Lannister and the Lannister family of Game of Thrones they are the evil family here the Harkonnen family and there is this Baron who is like a grossly obese man who needs suspenses to stay uh, afloat because of his weight and he is a plotting man he's very evil while one of the most evilest characters in fiction ever and this guy plans to kill Leto and this party chamber is also involved in the conspiracy Leto doesn't know that and there is this Duncan Idaho and you know Leto's some friends and his commanders and then you know there are there are many and first when I read this I was like worried because there were many new terms which were keeping coming up like being grassroot which is the school of you know this, uh, political diplomacy and there you know savior quizits hadraj uh, don't be afraid when you read this at first it all gets explained in this book and uh, this um, the conspiracy against this Lito works out very well and Lito is assassinated by Dr. Yue and then you know this uh, Dr. Yue was uh, like blackmailed into assassinating Lito by you know holding his wife who he thought that as a captive and I won't spoil it more and then this uh, Jessica and uh, Paul escapes into Dune where they come in contact with Fremen who are the native people of this uh, planet Arrakis and how they particularly involved this uh, all these Fremen under his control at like uh, you know 
get his revenge against his family is the main plot of this book and what uh, there are three parts to this book and uh, the first is the dune and then is the maud dip who which is a fremen name for paul maud dip okay and then the third is the prophet uh, the third book is prophet where he gets his final revenge and he also meets his life partner paul meets his life partner there and you know that's a basic story there is so much political intrigue in the first part the second part it, uh, it uh, shifts down the political to more an ecological tone and as it describes the sandworms the, you know most people who know dune might know about the sandworms which are its most famous you know creatures in this dune universe they are related to mangy spice you want to if you want to find out their relationship read down this book and the, there's this is so much wonderful book because for fans of game of thrones for fans of lord of rings for fans of science fiction films in general and for fans of star wars uh, star wars rips the uh, idea of intergalactic empire and you know the dark uh, that you know this um, that planet from where that uh, duke sky uh, luke skywalker comes from that's a desert and this is the reverse of that he goes from kaladin to this arrakis planet and that's all the for the plot there have been many movie, movie adaptations of dune the first was uh, by david lynch who was a box of his failure because this book uh, i imagine this must be very hard to adapt due to most of its uh, con most of it being conversations and also descriptions of the planet and everything uh, you want to read the book to find out why this book is so revered as it is and there is an upcoming movie coming up in 2020 and i hope it does justice to the material and that's all for the review the this is a must read book you can go for the paperback or i have shown some formats of how to own this book this is uh, cheap for a hard cover you can buy this on if it's still available and that's all for the and that's all for today so i hope you will pick up this book it's a 500 page read but you know very rewarding very awesome book so that's my recommendation of science fiction novel for today hope you read it anyway you can Okay, and that's all. See, I see you next week. That's all for today. Thank you, your comic readers.